Alright guys, we're back with another video. Um, today might be a short video. As you guys can see, I, I did a lot of cleanup. And uh, today I'm... Uh, let me show you guys the engine first. For those of you guys who haven't seen it. Oh, got your asses. Um, I lied to you guys. I know I said I was going to put this thing away and start working on the Evo, but... Um, I've been thinking as I've been cleaning all this stuff, cleaning up, organizing all my tools, see all my tools. I've just been, I've been having time to think and shit. So I've been wanting to, uh, oh shit. Let's throw this shit up. I'm just gonna show you guys the time I was, what I was doing throughout the whole time. But when I was doing all that, I thought about it and I talked to my brother. He, um, Kind of convinced me to just finish the blue car, finish it, get over with, and uh, put my full focus on the evil because I do want to build the evil like I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm end up building it. Just like the way I said it, just keep my full attention on it and focus just on the evil instead of having to worry about um the blue car. And plus, save a lot of space too. I mean, I'm fucking taking up the whole back right now. But um, yeah, so I, Get unfortunate out of you guys. I am gonna take this plastic off. I am gonna throw it in the engine bay as soon as I get my transmission. I do gotta get a transmission for it because uh, my third gear's uh, synchros are giving out already. Um, it grinds hard as fuck. So, um, I, I tried everything. I tried changing the transmission fluid. I tried double clutching. Still, the double clutch kind of helps a little bit, but um, still, it's just too bad. It sucks. So, it does, it's not worth it. But um yeah, so I am gonna be in, uh, continuing working on the VR4. The evils that I have to wait, but um like I promise, as soon as this one's done, I'm gonna jump right into the evil. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to I'm not gonna take a break because I want to get the evil done. And um for today's video, it's gonna be a short one. I probably just clean up the engine bay and uh, focus on the fuel pump because I do gotta get a fuel pump for this car and uh injectors so the reason i'm going into the fuel pump because i want to see what fuel pump it has this car like i said i bought it with a lot of aftermarket parts i'm but when i turn it on you do hear the fucking fuel pump a lot of shit so i gotta see what kind of fuel pump that has and it was uh capable of running e85 so yeah that's gonna be probably the video today and i'm uh what am i gonna do oh let me show you guys All the old parts, Evo Turbo. Um, I'm end up changing the fittings out for uh, three AN hose or six AN hoses, I guess you can say. Change that hard line out. Um, I seen a guy do it. And it looks like it worked out pretty well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same shit. I don't want to get rid of that hard line because it seems like it's gonna fucking end up breaking eventually. So I might as well change it now, yeah, since I'm gonna take the fuel pump apart. Well, not a. Well, I don't know if I'm taking it apart yet, but I'm gonna take it out for sure. So that's gonna be the today's video. Taking this apart, and I'm gonna end up spraying the engine bay right now. I want to clean that shit out too. I don't know if I'm painting. I'm not gonna paint it. it. Just seems like too much work. I mean, I don't. I don't care for the mismatching color. I mean, I don't mind it. As long as my engine is good, I'm not tripping. But um, yeah. So let me get all this shit cleared out. I probably should take the hood off right now, so I can show you guys what I'm working with. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we do first. All right, guys. So this is what I'm working with right now. As you guys can see it's uh, hella dirty. Paint's not that cool. I mean, I don't know. It just seems like too much work to fucking take all that shit off and, and paint everything. Like, I can, but I just don't mind it. I mean, fuck. I honestly don't mind it. Other than this, it is dirty. It's the only shit I do mind. It's fucking dirty as fuck. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm doing that. It just seems like too much work, to be honest. 
But um, yeah, you guys can see my ABS deleters right there. I changed that last time I took the engine out. It was way easier. I mean, if you guys want to do that, make sure your engine's out. You could do it when the car's out. I mean, the engine's out. It's just going to be a lot harder. And then my, you see my old catch can there. What else? What else did I do? What else did I do? What else did I do? Well, these, um, what's that shit called? These guys, these these got deleted, as you guys seen in my other video. And, uh, what else, what else did I do, Alex? Oh, my fuel filter, all these lines. I changed them out. These are all 6AN fittings. This fitting's a bitch. Still 6AN, I think, if I remember correctly. What else? I think that's it. ABS delete. Obviously, I have the hard mounts for the engine that came with the car. Oh, and I did my fucking uh, cruise control delete. Throttle cable runs directly to the firewall to the pedal. And, uh, yeah, I basically did everything you can do in terms of deleting stuff on the engine bay. Like the AC. And, yeah, that's it. I don't see anything else that I can remember. Don't worry about this. I'm your old fan. Yeah. So let's spray this shit down with the greaser and fucking let it sit for like 30 minutes while I fucking clean out the trunk to uh, work on that fuel pump. Trust the process. Yeah, I got another one. Mm -hmm. Right there. Spray everything. Everything. All right, give me some right now. <laughs> Alright, so spray down. Now I'm just gonna let it sit. <laughs> let it sit for like a couple of minutes while like, I clean out the back and uh it should look different when I spray everything down. Alright, so you guys see I cleared everything out. I took the spare tire out. I wanna show you guys like this car actually has all the interior pieces, except for that, because it has a what do you wanna call harness it? Bar? Harness bar? Not a harness bar, but it's a bar. Obviously, it's different up the suspension. That came with the car also. I don't know. I can't tell you guys where where they sell that, but that came with the car also. I and mean, I know they don't come like that. This is missing covers, which that was a pretty cool one to have. But uh, yeah, my cousin ended up getting all these. Oh, my cousin and my brother ended up getting all these uh, um, interior parts for me because all this shit was gutted. It had nothing. It was all red. So, shout out to those putos. Yeah. So let's uh let's Enough. get these fucking panels off. It's just two screws. You guys, you guys, I don't know how to show you guys. They're right here. Uh, yeah, let's get it off. The cover is just four bolts. They all come like that. That's what it's like to market, bro. Yeah, they all come like that. I would assume. Pretty sure they do come like that. Fuck around and paint this shit, even though you're not gonna see it. <laughs> Stupid. So there goes that crusty shit. All right, let me get the camera off my head. That's what I want to change. Well, after I take it out, take this line off. Take this. You see how it's already twisted? I don't know who's dumbass did that. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I tried. I took it apart already. Well, I didn't take it apart, but I was trying to loosen the, loosen this hose, and uh, it wasn't it wouldn't turn. Cause I gotta take it apart from the bottom too. This this has to be a swivel, no? No, it doesn't swivel. I tried it. Already. You see my fucking bend of this? Oh, this thing was fucking stupid tight yeah, too. That's so that's what I'm saying. Just hold. You can't just hold this one. Turn that. Trust me, bro. I did that. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, this thing was stupid tight too. So I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of people break this this line here. So. I mean, I was able to break it loose, but as you can see, I, I twisted the shit. So that, should, that might not, that might not be good for the fuel. But um, yeah, like I was saying, this is this. Yeah, you're moving it. It's right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this apart right now, and uh, I'm gonna end up changing this holes too. 
It's all, it's, just, it's all easy shit. It's not hard. But, um, uh, yeah, let's get this fucking shit off. It's loose right now. I figured I'd show you guys since I'm already down here. Because, uh, the crescent wrench I had is broken, but this is my, uh, custom 4 inch exhaust that I made with my brother. Did it all the way down over there to uh, 4 inch to 3 inch. So from the uh, down pipe is 2 inch, 2 and a half I believe. Or whatever, uh, yeah I think 2 inch, 2 and a half. And then after the test pipe is going to be 3 inch. And then from there I got a, a cone from the reducer from 3 inch to 4 inch. So this is all, I, all custom made. Right here at the age of shop. Hmm. Looks pretty cool. Sounds badass too. Diesel. Say that sounds like a diesel. Hmm. Alright. Believe it or not, it's the first time my brother's touching my car. It's alright. <laughs> it's not cool. Alright. That is a fucking full tank of gas. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. What kind of fucking fuel pump is that? Alright, let me pull it out quick. Watch out. Let's take it on the work. Oh shit, the workbench is dirty. Well, full of shit. Alright, oh, it's a wall bro. Mm, okay, okay. I like that, I don't like that. It's a wall bro, huh? It's kind of wall bro. It's a wall bro. Shit. Yeah, I think that's zip tie off. Alright. Well, that's good to know. That fucker's loud as shit. If you guys want a loud fuel pump, get a wall bro. Fuck me. Yeah, before I take that fuel pump part, I want to wash this shit down. I'm not gonna lie, this shit looks the same. A little better, not too. I could have scrubbed it, but. Yeah, fuck that. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Put the light on. Alex! Oh, oh that's good. Never mind. Alright, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's take this shit off. She was a bitch to take off. Be careful with that. She wasn't even sitting on there, right? Should be able to just pull this thing out. Fuck me. Made in the USA. This is a 341? Marble Wallboard 341? I gotta look that up. See if it's a... Uh, E85 compatible. If it is, I'll save myself a lot of money. So uh, let's let me double check that and uh, see what's up. All right, guys. So it's, it's been a couple of days since um, I last touched this, the fuel pump. So I know I mentioned before I was looking, um, trying to figure out whether this is good for 85. Turns out it's not. So I ended up ordering another fuel pump, and the fuel pump I ordered was a it's a 450 Walbro. Now this should be good for E85, um, from what I heard in the description. It's made up. It's made by a TEI Automotive. They make Walbro, so it's, this is a Walbro fuel pump. Now, um, you guys can tell that this this is not stock. Obviously, um, I told you guys this came with the car when I got it. It's fucking loud as shit. Now, um, in terms of me connecting everything, all I'm gonna do is uh, put it put it, basically where this connection is. I'm, I'm gonna do the same with the new ones. Basically, why everything the same? I, sh I don't think it should have any issues with that. 
and uh, the only thing I have to do is make this one a little shorter it's a little long so I have to take apart this connection shrink it down probably like up to here and shit but uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out until I cut this off so when I cut this off I'll see where, where, I'm, where I want to sit it because it's kind of in the way right now and um, when I figure that out I'll be able to uh, see how much I have to shorten and all that good stuff but um yeah this little bracket's coming off too so throughout the time I was uh, waiting for my pump to get here I was working on my T-case the fuel plug on the T-case was fucking stripped so I had to uh, order a tap set this is a good tap set to get if you guys want to fix your plugs I got this from Amazon it was only like 42 bucks I bought one prior to this one but it was a cheap one it was one with the red cover those fucking taps sucked they just kept slipping it wasn't engaging but these are good these I was able to do this shit in like 10 minutes the other one I was struggling with but um the the drill hole size is a 23 30 second for m20 tap m20 tap by 1.5 if you guys wanted to know so um yeah let's get this fuel pump uh sorted out and uh get these uh fittings on there now like, like i said before people have already done this this is not new i'm not fucking figuring shit out people have already done this before people usually cut this shit off and um, drill the hole 9 16 to fit that fitting in there. For some reason, I don't know why people cut this here. If all you got to do is cut this top one and just drill it through, and it will take that shit off. So um, there's no need for you to try to cut this shit off. Because once you cut this one off, you can just drill right through and it should, it should just come apart. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's it, man. I'm going to show you guys how to put the shit together. I'm not going to show you guys how to wire it. I mean, you basically plug and play. Just Put everything back where it was and uh yeah that's it i don't see anything else unless i forgot something i'll let you guys know but uh yeah let's get this shit started let me start off by cutting this stupid fucking hard line off oh and um this is uh six three a and what is it three eight holes six a and line holes for e85 get that shit on amazon too all this shit you get on amazon all these fittings Where's the other fittings at? I'm trying to show you guys. This fitting is for the line that's the existing line that's under the car right now. That way you connect your holes and this for the inside. So I'll show you guys how this is gonna go, but it's nothing new. People have done it before. And uh yeah. Oh and this thing too, my my fuel gauge meters isn't isn't working. So I gotta I'm gonna make sure all these all these wires are good. And uh try to figure out why it's not working but if it's not if it doesn't work when i um get the car on i'm not gonna worry about it i mean i was i was already used to it so i'm just gonna see if there's any cable loose or anything like that but uh yeah let's get this shit started all right so like i said we're gonna start out by cutting this bullshit off this little um i didn't have a adapters for this so i ended up making this thing myself with a bolt as a quarter inch bolt two nuts lock washers should be able to tighten that it works just fine but in case you guys don't have this um you guys obviously need the die grinder but You guys see what I mean? All you have to do is fucking drill and it just fucking pops it right off. I didn't even have to fucking cut it. So I've seen a lot of you guys try to cut the inside. There's no reason for it. it just comes right off. Now I gotta all I gotta do is uh, drill at the size of this thread. Alright, so I ended up going with a 5 8 <clears throat> um, 
nine sixteen works just like perfectly. Five eighths, it's a little bigger, but I have washers to make up for. I don't, I don't have a fucking nine sixteen's bed. You guys can always get a step bed if you guys want, but I don't have one. What I'm doing now is just, I'm just cleaning up the hole. Careful with this shit. And uh, yeah, it should work just fine. All right, so the let's take the shit off. Nice, right, look at that. All right, so the fitting's on. Tight enough already. This was, this one here, this nut here is a 19. This one's an 18. So I just snug this up. There's no need to put anything on it. No teflon, none of that, because it's uh, these are flared fittings. So you should be good. So now that I have that mounted on, I'll see how far I can go with my fuel pump. And. Just have to figure some shit out here. It's, it's a little leaner. Debating whether I should just uh, cut this tab off. That way, this could sit behind, uh, right under the metal. If you guys know what I mean, it could sit flush. But yeah, we'll see what I do. Let's get this shit on. All right, so of course um, all my fucking bolts are stripped, so I gotta cut this shit off, cut this one off. Fucking sucks, but gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. I just ended up uh, notching the fucking straight line with the the die grinder, I guess, or the grinder. And it came right off. Now all I gotta, gotta do is uh, find another bolt. <laughs> That's it. Look at that. What you guys think? It's okay. It's not bad. It's all right. Not bad for my first time, I guess. Now I gotta figure out the wiring. <laughs> Look at all this shit, it's all the way up here. So it's got to go down. And the other one where it's at should be good. Should have some connectors here. Throw the grommets on that. I need some small ones. Yeah, this will probably work. Kind of cheapies though. Nice, perfect. All right. So, we're gonna cut this off about. So, you have to go like this, right? Yeah, like this. So, it's gonna be cut up right there. Put a little pinch mark there. This one's gonna be cut off like right here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That'll work. Should bolt right up. This shit in here. Oh, that shit fuck is hot, man. Put this bitch right there. Just like that. Should go here. Where's that bolt at? Uh oh. Alright, so this connector is ready to go. As you can see, I uh, literally just did the same thing with the way you had it. So, I mean, I don't know how your guys are set up. Yours, like I said, this has already been done before on the car, and it's definitely not stock. But, um, 
Yeah, so I'm just copying what it had already. Now this motherfucker, I mean, I could always just leave it like that and fucking connect it, honestly, but it's just kind of, kind of like stupid, you know? It's got all that wiring in there, which just won't make sense, you know? So, take this shit off. Oof. Cut this shit off. I gotta buy me a chair. All right, guys. So I ended up um, just I just connected the wires. I don't, I left it along like that. I, all I did was wrap the connection around the the pump itself. I want to show you guys before I put it in, because I don't want you guys to think I did some other shit, you know. But all I did was just connect the wires, and that's it. And um, I'm putting it back in right now. I noticed this hole here. I don't know what this hole's for. So no, let me get it in first. Hold on. Let me show you guys. All right, guys. So the fuel pump's not bolted on yet but it's in there like i mentioned uh it's the next day because it was getting dark so i wasn't able to record anymore but uh like i mentioned yesterday all i did was run the run the wire around the pump i guess the whole um unit and connected the wires that's all i did and uh so now i'm i'm gonna put the bolts on and uh literally just plug the existing wire that's runs that runs under the the car and that should be it with the fuel pump. I don't see anything else I have to do. All I did was connect everything back how it was. And um, I don't see why we should have any issue with it. Uh, let's, so let's cross my fingers. Hopefully everything's good. And uh, yeah, that should be it. So let's get the fucking pump bolted on and uh, run the last fucking line in. All right, so all the bolts are tightened up. Let me put this shit back in there. I should have changed this too, to be honest. But it is what it is. I don't see anything else I should worry about. That's there. And it should be good, bro. Yeah, like I was saying, so I mean, if you guys don't see a video in the next couple of, I guess, the next week, it's because I'm uh, be in Seattle for 10 days. Um, hopefully we finish the job early, come back, and start working on this shit again, but Yeah, that's the only down part about my job. I'm gonna do a lot of traveling But uh Yeah, we'll see in the next video I don't know what I'm gonna do Because I gotta get a transmission. That's a, one of the good upsides Um, the good thing is that I'm going to Seattle because I'm gonna try to find a transmission over there for this shit That way I could just put the transmission together and uh Start putting the engine in the car because that's all I gotta do, honestly. And then obviously get the ECO and all that shit. But we'll see. We'll see what I come up for you guys. Uh, yeah, let's get this wire on. I gotta get down there. Put this shit on there. <sighs> Alright, boys. That's it. I got it far enough into where I'm happy with it. So, should be good. Um, yeah, as far as this video goes, that's probably it. Um, like I said before. I'm leaving Seattle, so we'll see what video I come up with next time. But for now, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I gotta start picking up right now because I gotta, I like, I gotta leave all this shit clean before I leave. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.